What's up, brothers? Today we're cracking 1718 Upper Deck uh, Series 1 Hockey a Metallic Tina. This is uh, my favorite uh, packaging option of uh, Upper Deck Series 1 and 2 because uh, it looks uh, so sleek. And uh, so uh, the first hit is this uh, Mikau Kempny, this uh, Slovakian dude, uh, big winter classic card. Uh, they, every season they have uh, them in uh, Series 1 and uh, Series 2 I uh, teams also have these big cards but I think they are only uh, they are not uh, related to the Winter Classic or anything uh, like that so I'm not a sh sure I'm a huge fan of that but it's uh, fun to have uh, something a little bit unusual in these packs and uh, so uh, this should be uh, 12 packs inside, 10 regular packs and uh, 5 uh, 10 regular packs and 2 extra packs and uh, I think it's 6 cards per uh, per each pack and uh, Philippe Deneau uh, Boone Jenner celebrating the goal or an assist uh, Sean Monaghan and Hot Rocky from 13-14 P.K. Saban is a national predator. That's a great photo. That's why I like uh, Series 1 and Series 2 so much. Like, no other Upper Deck set has such a great uh, game moments photo of uh, Jim Carroll and so Oh, and uh, Austin, again, like a, a great St. Patrick's Day uh, jersey of uh, Austin Matthews. Uh, Jonathan Hubert, Rookie of the Year of uh, in 13-14 or 12-13, I think, this like shorter season and uh, uh, Troy Stetcher. So uh, the first pack is uh, all base. Uh, I think uh, there should be three young guns in uh, this team. Uh, of course, uh, the young guns are not as good this season as uh, they were. Uh, last season, Brandon Dubinsky, the former New York Rangers, or the last two seasons where we had uh, Austin Matthews. And uh, okay, so uh, this is uh, the first insert. This is a shining star insert, and uh, th I think these are right wings, uh, shining stars like SSR2. Yeah, R stands for that. Uh, shining wings, and I think uh, the right wings you can uh, only pull from uh, these teens or then fat packs so you can't pull them from the hobby so that's something uh, uh, something interesting uh, and uh, teen specific uh, Josh Morrissey Adam Henrik Evgeny Malkin and uh, although uh, the Rockies are not very good uh, this season what's, uh, what makes uh, the season particularly Interesting is that our most hot, hot rockies are like American, like uh, Clayton Keller or or uh, say like uh, Kyler Yamamoto, although he was uh, sent back to the uh, juniors, I think, uh, because uh, I don't remember like uh, uh, the season where most of the rockies, uh, hot rockies were. American. Last year we had Austin Matthews, but everybody else was like, uh, yeah. Last season we had like Austin Matthews and Patrick Line as Finnish. Uh, this year it's Nico Hischer who is Swiss, and uh, yeah, probably Kyler Yamamoto, Clayton Keller, and uh, Mick Korantanen of uh, TPS Tur uh, Turku. The, that's actually a cool photo. First hat trick. Uh, Andrei Vasilevsky, a big, a big goalkeeper, really young, and uh, <laughs> and uh, actually, yeah, Brock Bozer is one of the of the hottest rockies. Uh, it's actually not a bad team at all, uh, and uh, the young guns design this year is a little bit uh, unusual because uh, this left edge is uh, really thick. I'm not sure a fan uh, that I'm a fan, but Brock Bozer is definitely. Uh, not the worst player uh, you can pull, also an American player. So, yeah, born in uh, Minnesota. Most big American players are born in Minnesota or Wisconsin, I think, except uh, Austin Matthews, who is born in 
Oh, this, this, this card has some kind of like uh, surface issue. I'm not sure what it. Uh, you you might be able to see it here, like a damaged card of uh, Max Domi. But I'm uh, quite satis uh, satisfied with Brock Bowser, given that the Rocky class he is almost like the best. Uh, no, of course not the best, but uh, probably top five card. Uh, you could uh, pull uh, Dustin Brown. Ivan Provorov, uh, that's interesting uh, that uh, you could think that uh, he is like some kind of like a Vancouver player, although he's like, uh, uh, he's, uh, he's flying some kind of planes in uh, Philadelphia. And uh, Devon Dubnik portrait. Uh, this year portraits, I feel like they're not uh, as close as uh, last, last couple of years. It's, uh, the photo is relatively taken far away uh, but I don't really have uh, a strong preference uh, for that Adam Larson uh, the fourth overall pick from uh, 2000, 2011 I think by uh, New Jersey Devils generally with upper deck series 1 and series 2 I prefer this uh, retail releases because uh, you know the the only valuable cards in hobby compared to Matt Ketchak actually uh, one of the I think uh, the first promising player in uh, Calgary after Sean Monahan. Yeah, I prefer this retail releases because essentially hobby costs more, and the only th thing you can a uh, really valuable thing you can pull is uh, uh, high gloss young guns because like the jerseys are worthless. Are not worth a dollar, uh, and uh, the probability of uh, pulling a uh, high gloss young gun is like super low. So, why to spend extra extra money? So I uh, I got this tin from uh, Models at uh, West seven, uh, 78 and Broadway. Uh, the price is uh, uh, twenty nine ninety nine plus tax. So it's and another young gun is uh, Sam Morin. Uh, I think uh, I think he's like a Swedish player. I have I think I might have heard something about him. Like uh, no, he's not Swedish player uh, from Quebec. And also starts like, from the starts you can see that he is like uh, a long even prover of his uh, superstar in superstar defenseman in Philadelphia, uh, Semen Varlamov and uh, Matt Murray. Um, Andrzej Kopitar and uh, uh, Travis Konechny. Okay, that's really cool. That's uh, one of the first uh, uh, Vegas Golden Knights cards. Uh, it's actually not a game card. I think it's from the ex an expansion draft card, uh, but uh, uh, still cool to pull it. I hope they have some uh, game action photos from uh, uh, Vegas Golden Knights as well. Unfortunately, Marc-Andre Fleury is injured uh, this season. And uh, I think it's uh, Maxime Lagasse, who is, uh, play, who is currently the starting goalkeeper in uh, Vegas. I actually went to see like Vegas playing uh, playing Rangers at uh, MSG, I think a couple of a couple of weeks ago, and God, Maxim Lagaz is terrible. He uh, like allows six goals, and uh, probably three of them were like clearly his fault. He loses the net like uh, all the time. Like uh, I, I'm actually not sure how did he make it uh, to the NHL. Like he's like ECHL level goalkeeper. It's a really fun photo. Somehow this year there are a lot of uh, photos which uh, are not in the in their like playing uniforms. Uh, they look uh, a little bit like unlic uh, unlicensed photos from uh, Leaf. So Leon Draisaitl. I think uh, Oilers will suffer a lot because of uh, Leon Draisaitl's contract because. Uh, no way that uh, Drysaddle is more is worth more than Kuznetsov in Washington, but uh, Caps are paying Kuznetsov less than uh, 
Oilers are paying Dries Idol. Two packs left and I think uh, there is still one young gun to go and uh, uh, Andre Sekera, Jorette Spurgeon, Andy Green. Oh, and uh, that's a canvas. Unfortunately, it's not a young guns canvas, but it's a uh, grizzly tank, a long time penguin. Uh, Derek Brasseur, uh, Christian Dvorak, Travis Zajic, who actually has been injured for almost uh, the whole season now. And I think he played uh, his first game against Toronto. Uh, just uh, this weekend was an overtime loss. Uh, JT Miller, uh, Jaden Schwartz, uh, Rasmus Ristolainen, a uh, really good Finnish defenseman, uh, Rickard Panic, and uh, oh, that's uh, not a big name card, but uh, that's uh, actually the first young guns of uh, an Australian player, so uh, that's something which is not valuable but uh, really cool uh, to pull. So, uh, yeah, he was born in uh, Wales, but uh, he's actually an Australian, and I think Australian Prime Minister congratulated him when he played uh, his first NHL NHL game. Uh, Davis Savoir, uh, Jumbo Joe, and uh, Brandon Carlo. So, uh, overall, it's uh, not a super exciting team, but uh, I'm satisfied with this Brock Bowser. Young guns and uh, this uh, Australian young gun is always uh, really fun.